Glenn, we caught up with Mayor Eric Garcetti at an event earlier this morning, and here's how he responded to the federal corruption charges the city councilman is now facing. There are accusations that center around uh, Mr. Ridley Thomas's time on the Board of Supervisors, and while I've witnessed, you know, things that Mr. Ridley Thomas has done that are extraordinary in the community too, if, if serious, uh, this has no place in local uh, service. He should be prepared to pay the price. LA City Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas and former USC Dean Marilyn Louise Flynn, they were both indicted for their roles in an alleged bribery scheme. This involved a 20 count indictment alleging Ridley Thomas, during his position with the LA County Board of Supervisors, traded supporting county contracts and lucrative contract amendments with the university in exchange for benefits for a relative. This was back in 2017 and 2018. Now, the indictment does not name the relative, but the LA Times identified that family. Family member as Ridley Thomas's son Sebastian, who in this alleged quid pro quo agreement reportedly received benefits from the university by grad school admission, a paid professorship, also full time full tuition scholarship. Now, in return, the USC School of Social Work got contracts to provide services to the Department of Children and Family Services, also an amendment to a contract with the Department of Mental Health, generating millions of dollars in new revenue. This is according to the indictment. Both Ridley Thomas and Flynn face one charge each of conspiracy and bribery and multiple counts of mail and wire fraud. USC said in a statement when they learned about payments totaling $100,000 that really Thomas allegedly funneled from one of his campaign committees through the university to a nonprofit where his son would work, that USC immediately disclosed the issue to the U.S. Attorney's Office and has fully cooperated ever since. Now, USC confirmed Flynn has not been employed by the university since September 2018. And when it comes to corruption charges, we've seen other city council members who've been the subject of federal investigations. Former Councilman Jose Huizar, you can see the charges he's facing. Also, Mitch Englander, who's now serving time in federal prison. Listen to what the mayor told me earlier this morning. He was pretty fired up. This is what he said about anyone trying to abuse their power in government. You have one former city council member in prison, another awaiting trial. What do you say to the public, those whose confidence in government leaders, city officials have been shaken? I have the same confidence shaken whenever this happens. It makes me sick to my stomach, and I hope that there are swift consequences. And that sets the example that you will get caught. You will get caught if you betray the public's trust, if you take the public's money and use it in a way you're not supposed to, there will be consequences. So uh, today I'm not a mayor. I'm an outraged Angelino if these accusations are correct. Now both defendants will be arraigned in U.S. District Court in the coming weeks. That's the very latest in downtown Los Angeles. Kareed Winter, KTLA 5 News.